Hey, what's up, people? Michael here. If you want to partner your YouTube channel up, check out the link in the description. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Washington Mystics going up against the Connecticut Sun. And from Connecticut, I'm Blake Suniga with our analysts Tim Swartz and Brian Banapatemi. Happy you're with us tonight. And the tip. Well, looking at the players who make their teammates better, who tops the list for you guys? It has to be Sue Bird, the best point guard in WNBA history, a calming veteran presence on and off the court. She just sees so much in the league, so her teammates trust what she says and what she does. Hold up, man. What about Anna Stewart? I mean, she entered the league with a bang and earned the trust of those around her right away. And she just plays with so much passion that it rubs off on her teammates. Now here's Thomas, shot clock at six, and it's Christy Tolliver with the foul. That's her first foul. That is a quick foul for her there. The refs are calling it close. And so here's Connecticut. And here's Jasmine Thomas for three. Knocks down the trifecta. A cornerstone of the team. Thomas has played a big part in the resurgence of the Sun franchise. Pass to Atkins. Cloud with it. Outside Atkins. Just five to shoot. Beyond the arc. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot at him. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Now here's Thomas, and it's Christy Tolliver with the foul. That'll be her second foul of the game. Thomas outside. Six on the shot clock. Let's go with a three. And the sun hit again from deep. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Here's Cloud. The sun pull it in. Outside and a foul on the shot. She'll go to the stripe for two. That's on Elena Deladon. Well, the transition to the WNBA is not easy. Just ask Jonquel Jones, who didn't play much her rookie season, but she still had an incredible second season in 2017, setting the WNBA record for rebounds in a season. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. Yeah, it was great to see Jones find her way with Connecticut. I mean, becoming an all-star for the Sun and winning 2017 Most Improved Player. Well, guys, she didn't just set the rebounding record. Jones shot easily over 50%. A huge reason why the Sun made the playoffs for the first time in five years. Both shots good from the strike. The former WNBA Sixth Woman of the Year, Jones is selfless and accepts whatever role the team needs her to. Now here's Cloud. Elena Deladon on the wing. Releases. And it's good off the back rim and in. That's just run of the mill for her. She's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. And here's Connecticut. Three-point lead. Pass to Williams. Back to Thomas. Thomas with the ball. Shoots over Sanders. And too long on the shot. Not the best shot right there. I mean, a defender right all over her. I sure can. Look, that's certainly not the shot they were hoping for, but she could really cause some problems with her defense. 
I really think what separates Della Don from the rest of the pack is her incredible shooting abilities at 6'5". There she's got that high release that's so difficult to defend. Guys, she's not just a jump shooter. Della Dawn has all the shots in the book. I really love that about her game. She can shoot out of a spin move, fadeaway, floated, incredible touch. Has been so close to a 50, 40, 90. And it's Strickland missing. Yeah, just like me. I can't believe that layup didn't fall. I don't think she can either. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Sanders. Cloud. Here's Walker Kimbrough, guarded by Jones. And that misses. That would have put them up. Strickland. A put back. Sanders with the rebound. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first. There's the call on John Quell Jones. That is her first foul of the game. Both teams deciding to change it up. Walker Kimbrough, Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Nisaman, guarded by Jones. Six to shoot. They double team Elena Della Don. They tie it up and it's a jump ball. Connecticut has possession. And here the sun. Right side Clarendon. Holmes. Pass to Jones. Here's Bannum. The basket good off the assist from John Quell Jones. Teamwork is important to Jones. She has excellent chemistry with her teammates and just does what's best for everyone. Now here's Cloud. Stolen. Now here's Clarendon. Here's Holmes. Pass to Clarendon. Jones. He's covered by Cloud. And that one's good. Jones. A premier interior scorer. Jones' physical presence is enough to intimidate defenders. And with the Sun, they have a, a very deep roster. They get scoring from many different players, and you almost feel like it's somewhat different leading the charge of scoring every night they play. Now here's Clarendon. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Five on the clock. Takes the 13-footer. Misamon pulls it in. And they have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Here's Cloud. And again, it's Washington converting. I love a point if you hit from this range. Cloud just gives uh, the D another thing to worry about when she scores from there. Thomas outside. play on the low block, and that one's good. Beating opponents with physicality. I love that rugged, old-school style that Thomas could bust out. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Oh, and she misses the go-ahead basket. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. Sun ahead, up by two. And the second quarter is on the way when we return. Back to the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Suns so far? 
A lot of shots in close from them early. Good sign. It's a lot easier to get buckets inside, and they've done that through one. The Sun leading. Here's Holmes. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Left side, Clarendon. Rejected by Tiana Hawkins. And pushing it up, here's Washington. Della Don shots good. No matter who starts the break, she's usually the one who finishes it. And I love watching her just attack the rim at Give full speed ball, like that. Here's Holmes. Jones. Misama covering. Here's Holmes. And it's blocked by Emma Misama. And the whistle stops gameplay. It's not a clean block shot. Instead, a shooting foul. And we'll see free throws coming up right here. Well, the WNBA All-Star experience saw some changes in 2019. Should the league continue to explore things like this? Well, I certainly so, because I like how the first time Separate WNBA All-Star Friday Night event. And she's been paired to three points with the skills challenge together with the skills challenge together for the first time since 2006. Didn't stop there, Brian. There was a beat concert and party following the Friday night competition. There was a fan fest all weekend long as well. I hope the WNBA continues to explore this kind of Washington, they shoot from outside, but still don't push the pace. Yeah, Blake, the Mystics are a team that will look for the most efficient shot. Doesn't mean they want to get up and down the floor. Rare to see a, a slow-paced team take a lot of threes. Finds herself on being unique. Now here's Thomas. She's got six. That's tip. We're on the clock. This game is 
been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that's done in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass, they, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. Back to Hawkins. And a great assist by Kristen Tolliver as that one goes in. While Sanders may be small for her position, she makes sure to use her speed to her advantage. Yeah, the coach has told her to be size with quickness, and Billy, that's exactly what she's done. Now, opposing things actually struggle to keep up with her agility. The Mystics with the lead. Outside Tolliver. Fires for 14, and again is Washington converting. Man, this offense just continues to impress. Getting hotter and hotter, and really, they're just bucking right now. What's the temperature to boil water at? Uh, 375? Uh, it could be way off. Whatever it is, they're at that. Yeah, no doubt. And the sun, all time here. And thinking back to the best draft classes in WNBA history, any particular ones come to mind? Well, I remember the 2002 WNBA draft pretty well. And an interesting note about the first five picks in that draft, all of them went on to make at least one all-star team. That's pretty cool. That's cool, Brian, but I can top that. Remember the 2009 WNBA draft? The first six drafts all made at least one all-star appearance. What a loaded draft class. down the court. You know, I think that it's good that Williams serves as a comedian for her team, kind of like uh, Blake with us. She's always laughing and trying to lighten the mood. How you do it? Go ahead, do it some more. Mind she ain't never seen me like lane. this. She ain't never What's seen up? me before. Tree love like a page you go. So I just go ahead and get it some more. I don't play it, baby girl, you damn. How you do it? Go ahead, do it some more. How you do it? Go ahead, do it some more. How you do it? Go ahead, do it Yeah, but don't let her fool you. Despite being lighthearted off the court, Williams is all business on the court. Yes, yeah, she's a fearless talent, and she's not mess around when she's out there. Courtney likes to play in the back row that her team relies on her playmaking ability. Now, here is that team. That shot is no good, and he's one for three from the floor. Now, Strickland. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Pass to Thomas. Now Strickland. Now here's Thomas. He's covered by Tolliver. Alyssa Thomas is doubled. Thomas. The offensive rebound. It's going to be on aerial action. Damn. How you do it, do it, do it some more. She ain't never seen nothing like this. She ain't never 
WNBA draft. Thomas actually came to the Sun in a draft day trade. And five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Nina Deladon for three. And another miss by Washington. Now here's Thomas. Tight defense on him. It's good. With the ability to score from difficult positions, Thomas is dependable when her team calls her number. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Sun on top, leading by three. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.
Strickland outside. Pass to Thomas. And she finishes nicely on the layup. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. And they call an illegal screen here. You have to make sure your feet are set. But when you set those screens, or they'll get you for it. I thought maybe she was set. Now, I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think maybe they got that one wrong. Now, here's Thomas with the teardrop and can't cash in from close range. The defense was ready for her, got a hand in her face, and made that one much tougher. And that's something that every team needs, rugged interior defense to just make your opponent think twice about coming down the lane. Well, we all know basketball is all about the three ball. That's what Christy Tolliver brings to your team. Just about a 40% career shooter from beyond the arc. Tolliver is a huge asset in today's game. Clock at six. Williams defended by Sanders. Williams can't get it to go. Well, sometimes you just want to show off your range. I mean, we already know how good her range is. So, I don't know why she's firing from that deep. Now, here is Atkins. Eladon outside. And foul called as she misses. And she's going to shoot two free throws. That's on Courtney Williams. That's the wrong person to send the charity stripe. Eladon makes free throws at such a high percentage. This is her second trip to the free throw line in this one. And the first one at the line is good. And talking about Tolliver shooting, she put on a show during the 2016 playoffs. And Tolliver shot over 40% from three-point range for the Sparks in 2016. And with Candace Parker and Neko Gumake, they were all able to help LA win the championship as Tolliver helped spread the floor with her shooting. One of the brightest stars in the WNBA, Elena Deladon. Arguably the biggest name selected in the draft in the last decade. She is the unquestioned leader of this team. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. Time called here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. And with Della Don, she does so much on offense for this team. And that is why the Mystics paid the high price to get her via trade. Now, Della Don is a former MVP, still in the prime of her career, and this team will go as far as she takes them. Sanders, banked in off the glass. 
Remember, she shot over 60% from the field during an entire season. Sanders loves the high percentage shot. Thomas with the ball. He's covered by Tolliver. Jones inside. Sanders on her. Pass to Bantam. And it's going to be a three-second call. You can tolerate gaps like that sometimes. In a close game, they really hurt. So both teams making some changes here. Washington trailing. Oliver with the ball. Outside power. to Tolliver, pass to Powers, and another miss by Washington. Rhea Holmes on the wing, Hawkins covering. Goes outside. The fader drops in the tray. With an inside-out game that confuses and overwhelms defenders, Jones is a well-rounded offensive talent. Now here's Tolliver. He has five. Ella Don. He's covered by Thomas. From downtown. And another miss by Washington. The Sun with the lead. Pass to Thomas. Another one in the scoring column for her. He's seven for ten from the field. When they've got to her, she's come through. Keep getting her touches. And here's Tolliver. Lays it up and in off the nice reverse. A high octane offensive talent. Tolliver plays focused and passionate basketball, and really, she's always improving her game. Timeout called the Sun. You kind of think Emma Misama was born with the basketball in her hands. Growing up in Belgium, she was immersed in the game. Outside. 
Shoots over Jones. He got it up in time, but it just wouldn't fall for it. And defense presence. Jones alters so many shots. It really makes opponents earn every basket. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Sun ahead up by 10. And we're coming back right after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Well, this is what being on the, the same page looks like. Fantastic feed and a heads up play all around. And how can you not be a fan of a sequence like that? This is what beautiful basketball is all about. Yeah, unselfishness, just, just wonderful stuff. The fourth quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back. And Washington has possession, trailing by 10. Back to Tolliver. Pass to Cloud. That's some solid defense from John Quell Jones. Checking a stripping for three. But they get it back. And again, John Quell Jones. Takes great angle for the crash in the glass. Tolliver, Deladon outside, Cloud, Thomas with the steal, a touch under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth, they get the rebound, and that one's good, Joe, you want entertaining basketball, of course you do, so here's the solution, watch Jones gets on a roll because he plays with a voice and command of the court that's simply inspiring. Now here's 
Sanders. Hits the J after faking out the D with a quick up fake. She's really maybe the only thing that stood out for them today, and she's kept her edge even as they're trailing. I'm out call the Sun. Well, you look over the history for the Mystics, not a lot of uh, high moments for the team, a lot of struggles over the years, and they're still looking for their first title. into the fourth quarter now. Up good by Jones. And you can feel the pressure on this team to get that first banner. Yeah, they've made the moves they've needed to drive for one, and getting Deladon was a huge step in that direction. But this franchise, you know, it, it might seem fake, bit, but you feel that they're on the verge of something big. The shot's good. Nice little uh, wrinkle to her game. At six feet, Cloud is a big guard. Helps her inside. Thomas outside. Williams pass to Clarendon. It's stolen by Tolliver. Down low, Della Don. Good, and Christy Tolliver gets the assist. That basket, it's why Della Don is one of the best in the WNBA. She finishes when it's difficult, not just the open looks. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. That yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there, and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. And, and kind of change that game plan as well. Against 
up deep. But guess what? He's just not going to play. Here's Teladon. And that one good. Important to hope Sanders stepping up. Her steely nerves coming in handy. The Sun leading. Here's Williams. That falls. Nice lead that time from Galvin Thomas. Big in big moment. Williams' combination of handles and shooting ability makes her a tremendous option for late game. Now here's Deladon. Now call that time on the way up. It goes on Alyssa Thomas. where they can't be missing any of those. Now here's Thomas. A kick out to Williams. Thomas outside. Strickland. Just five on the clock. The tray. Excellent D there from Ariel Atkins. You know, an effective floater is just about unstoppable. Big job by Cloud to drop that one in. Not an easy shot to master. Now, eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pass to Strickland. Fires the three. It's money from deep. An example right there, guys, is how they uh, never started posting even as their leads kept growing. Well, Tim, they're just a determined group. There's no neutral here, no matter what the lead is. It's only full speed ahead, and that's the type of basketball I love to watch. Yeah, 100 miles an hour. their lead to six. And so both free throws good this time. And it's a seven-point ball game. Washington calls timeout. 
What's your take, guys? They can that game plan all they want, Noddle, but unless they put more time on the clock, this one's over. Yeah, I don't know what they think they can accomplish with this timeout. Maybe a drink of water? They really needed down the stretch. This crowd was with them all the way. And that'll wrap it up. 